Hello everyone, this is Rashida. My today's video is going to be on support vector machine, another very popular machine learning model. We are going to talk about how it works on very high level. We will not dive into any mathematical details, we will only talk about the very basic components of support vector machine. Though we will use a scikit-learn library to implement a support vector machine in my next video, but we should at least know the intuition behind the model. For simplicity, suppose we are working on a binary classification. That means it has only two classes. What support vector machine does? Suppose these are one class and these rectangles are another class. How can we separate them? We can separate them many different ways. These are all the straight lines that can separate them. But what is the right way to separate them? In support vector machine, it finds a maximum margin between two classes. So this side margin, it passes through at least one dot of this green class. At the same time, this side of the margin needs to pass through at least one dot of this green class. And these dots, these dots that are on the margin, they are called support vectors. So this is the very high level idea of support vector machine. Finding the optimal hyperplane that separates two classes with maximum margin and then these are support vectors. The classes may not be separated always by a hyperplane linearly. The classes can be separable in this way as well, right? Where you can see this is one class and this is our circle, that's another class. So what to do with that? They are not separable linearly in two dimension, but but if we add one more dimension to it, these data can be linearly separable as well. Look at it, we added another dimension here, z equals to x squared plus y squared. So z is the third dimension here. So after we added z, the third dimension, now we can have a linear hyperplane. We do not have to always separate them linearly. This is another way. We can see that here we have three different class and these are not separated by linear hyperplane. This is also a support vector machine. And here we are showing three classes. The classes can be three, four, five, six, or even more. In this video, I tried to give you a very high level idea of support vector machine. In my next video, we will implement a support vector machine using a scikit-learn library. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.